prophet Isaiah says, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and wheat. Our Lord recognizes the hunger of the crowd, but he recognizes the deeper hunger in their souls for truth, life, love, purpose, joy. And that's the deepest desire of the human heart that he comes to fill. Like, you know, we say Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones sings, I can get no satisfaction. We, the tendency is to seek after things that do not satisfy. That's like kind of, you, you, we're wired for God and when we seek less than God, we don't find fulfillment, we don't find satisfaction. Like they ask, why are the desperate housewives so, so desperate? Because they seek love, but they only find lust. And lust never satisfies. The disciples say to our Lord, our Lord dismiss the crowds. Okay. Well, like sin always divides and scatters. But Jesus Christ brings unity in truth and in grace. That's his mission, to unite us in, in the truth and to unite us in himself, in his life. To, he comes to feed the new Israel, the church. Um, and our Lord asks the apostles, well, what do you have? And they say, five loaves and two fish. Give them to me, give it to me. Give me the little you have and you will be full. Okay? Like they say, there's no limit to what God can accomplish in the soul whose only desire is to please him. Um, and then it says that he took, taking the five loaves and two fish, Looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples who gave them to the crowds. Th that line is biblical code for the whole mystery of redemption for the Mass. Jesus Christ took, human took our humanity upon himself. He blessed it. He united that humanity to his divinity. He broke it for us. He broke it on the cross and he gave it to his disciples. Mercy, grace, the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist are, are poured out into the world. Um, give him the little you have and you will be full. That's kind of the, the motto. At every mass, he gathers us. We offer the little we have. We unite our amen to his amen, his perfect amen. And in that act, our amen takes on a, an infinite value. It becomes worthy to offer to God. And in Holy Communion, he sustains us, he feeds us with his own body and blood. See, there's was, there was that story of Elizabeth Barrett who married Robert Browning, and her parents were not, um, well, they disowned her when when she married him. After the wedding, the Brownings moved to Italy where they lived for the rest of their lives. But even though her parents had disowned her, Elizabeth never gave up on the relationship. Almost weekly, she wrote beautiful, expressive letters, some of the most beautiful letters in English literature. But not once did she receive a reply. After 10 years, she received a large box in the mail. Inside, Elizabeth found all the letters. Not one had been opened. And Holy Communion, we say, is like a love letter from Jesus Christ. And the time after Holy Communion is the time when we open that letter, when we read that letter, because it's meant to heal and restore our relationship with Christ, to strengthen it. Um, they said in, in San Giovanni Rotondo, where Padre Pio lived, everything stopped after Mass for 15 minutes. Okay. That was the Thanksgiving a after Mass. Okay. And th 
the point was like in today's gospel, after all the people had received the loaves and the fishes, there were 12 baskets left over. Okay? And that those 12 baskets are, are the symbol that <clears throat> the fountain can never be exhausted. We can never exhaust the infinite riches of receiving Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. Okay? The, there's as much at the end as there was at the beginning. There's more at the end than there was at the beginning because we've been fortified. We've been transfigured. We've been taken up more into his life. Um, and, and so, um, like we say, grace is always super abundant. It's, it's more than we can ever um, take in. It's like trying to drink from a fountain. We can't exhaust the fountain. Okay? So we uh, ask God that we might um, be receptive to all that God wants us to give in every Mass, in every Holy Communion, um, to give him the little we have and to receive from him all that he wants to give.